ni tekna msangi ya jishinde.com Welcome to day 11 of 30 days of AL and today we are going to look at get range max and get range mean I have created a report that will populate details of the customer and on the required filter fields we have the number the customer number and then the date filter so those are the fields that we'll use to determine the range either the minimum or the maximum so on the pre-data item uh, trigger so it runs before a data item is processed so before the data item we can be able to fetch the filter of this particular uh, customer like whatever filter has been set on the range remember the get range only acts on a range so if the filter is not a range it will throw an error okay let's do an example uh, i'll publish the application so you can see here we have number number uh, date filter date filter so we are starting the first one is the minimum and then maximum and then the minimum and then maximum so let me get something running okay need to publish What we need to search for is the customers the customers are in a list and here the report i have set it to be processed from this side so we have a get range here so when i click on get range this is the report that has the predata item and everything so it's prompting us to set a range if you don't put any range it will run with an error because uh you'll see like uh let's get the error running It'll be somewhere here already. Another error. So specify a filter for number. So you need to specify a filter before you can get the range. So use it uh, sparingly. You can say uh, probably if customer maybe uh, customer dot get filter get filter the number is not equal to blank then get range but you know the filter could not be a range so that's an example of what you can use uh, or else for the dead filter as well anyway nothing big in that so let's go back to get range and now use a filter for the customer so I'd like to use a filter that is uh, more manageable. Let me put uh, this 10,000 to 20,000. So 10, 1, 2, 3, 2, 20, 1, 2, 3. And again, on the date filter, I will start the beginning of the year to, to today. And then I'll click OK. So the minimum range of the customer is 10,000, the customer number 10,000, and the maximum is customer number 20,000. OK. The minimum date range is uh, first of did i put zero one zero one okay zero two and the maximum date is today let's do another example for the range so for instance i get cheeky a little bit and then put twenty thousand instead of ten thousand in the number and then on the date filter i put now the date today and I set it the maximum, the day to day as the minimum and the maximum to be that date. So in, in my thinking, this should be the minimum and this should be the maximum. Okay, so let's proceed. So the minimum is now 20,000 for the customer. And the maximum is 10,000. The minimum is this date to day, which is, uh, is, is higher than this maximum that is set so remember this function does not um, get you the maximum in, in terms of values or numbers so if you set the range to be 5.1 if the minimum will be 5 it gives you the minimum value in a range for a field in a range not in not the minimum in terms of logic it does not give you the minimum value in terms of 
the logic that you want. It gives you the minimum value in terms of a range. So let's begin when using the get range min and get range max. That's it for this video. I will see you in day 12 of 30 days of AL. See you there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.